I've got the new engine here I went ahead and took the four bolts that were in the bottom uh, holding the little plate on there off and um, I've got to make a gasket I'm going to use this red high temp gasket maker uh, from it's from Permatex but I'm sure there's other manufacturers that do that these old bolts that came out of here I don't need because the um, the bolts that came with the original engine are the ones I'm going to use so uh, the reason I've kind of got it apart here I'm gonna I'm gonna I don't use this super tech oil for my gas it's something that was left here when I moved in um, but I'm gonna use this to pre lubricate the engine with uh, with some you know extra oil so I'm gonna put it around these bearings here uh, I'm gonna put it some on the the crank down here uh, maybe put some around the rings maybe put a little drop in the top here where the spark plug goes just to just to help lubricate it and keep it from maybe uh, you know having a dry start when I started up at first and at this point I've, I've got some in there but I can go ahead and rotate the uh, crank around and the piston and kind of get that moving around a little bit for me being careful not to damage these uh, these seals out here on the outside here's the exhaust port I'm just gonna put a little just a little dab down inside of there over here on the intake side we're gonna put a little bit in there too just to just a drop and kinda of let that work around in there a little bit I've got it properly lubricated there got plenty of oil in it so I feel good about starting it up I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all these surfaces and maybe wipe down the surface oil that's on there so when I um, put my gasket on the base plate here uh, you know it'll make a good seal here's the uh, gasket sealer I cut off um, a little notch at the end of it there so let's see if we can get this thing going I'm not going to go too liberal I'm going to put a little extra right here in this little this little groove I'm going to come around here there's a nice little channel I'm going to follow I've kind of followed this little groove that it has alright the uh, the engine seals themselves will seal this area here so no need to put any uh, RTV in there so I'm ready to put this down into the into the case orientation goes that's where the bar stud went in and that's going to go toward the bar obviously just going to set that in place right there going to take the uh, the cylinder and piston and slide it down in there keeping in mind this is the exhaust port and this goes toward the front of the saw what I did was I fished the uh, fished the crankshaft through this opening on the opposite side of the saw that the uh, chain would go on and this is the side the flywheel goes on so I've just uh, just put that in place well that's in there I'm gonna go ahead and put the put the bolts in for the engine the four bolts that go in the bottom couple things I need to remember to put back in place that was for one is this uh, stud right here that goes 
to the exhaust and that was trapped here while this plastic plate was in place. So this has a little groove at the top that's flat and I'm going to match that up with the groove at the top of the intake and this hose clamp goes on to the rubber boot and then goes on to the engine. Just trying to twist it around to get it to get it square. There we go. So when I took this off, this band was the screw was at the very top so I'm going to put it back on there like that just tightening this hose clamp down onto the intake now we can go forward with the reassembly Pulling my wires back through. I'm going to fish my fuel line in. Feed the impulse line down. And into there. Plug the impulse line in. This is a little bit of a tricky part. You got to feed the intake boot into this plastic housing. It looks like really the only way to get to it is from the, the top and the, uh, this side, the chain side. But we're just going to grab onto it and and pull while we're pushing the plastic handle forward. This little wire here clipped into um, there's a kill switch right here. This wire right here clips into there. I'm going to try to put that on now before I get the carburetor back in place. That little kill wire slides in there like that and then the other ground wire here clips onto a a little terminal down inside of there. <laughs> 